by my calendar, Lori Vallow just entered year four in a lockup. And that is a really hard transition to make from the beaches in Hawaii, because that's where they picked her up and then they brought her to the US and locked her up. She looked like this early on, she didn't look like that now. But it turns out her life in jail has not been quite so bad, at least not comparatively. News Nation's West Coast correspondent Alex Capriella joins me live now from Idaho Falls, and he spent the day speaking with people who have exclusive information on what the cult couple, that's Chad and Lori, have been up to and what their daily lives have been like. Take it away, Alex. Tell me what you found out. Yeah, really fascinating intel all day long, Ashley. Let's start uh, where I'm currently standing, the Madison County Jail. This is where Lori is currently locked up. We found out that she's one of 12 women that are currently inside this jail. She shares a pod, which is sort of a larger living space with three other women. She has her own isolated cell that's monitored 24 seven by a team of 26 correctional officers. And when I spoke to this jail administrator, he had to be a bit vague about the details of Lori's life simply because he said he doesn't want to jeopardize this upcoming case and this upcoming trial with leaked information. But he did give me sort of a day in the life of Lori. Uh, first and foremost, she's getting her three square meals a day. Dishes that I hear are home cooked and rather nice burritos, pizzas, lasagnas and hamburgers. Uh, she has a good amount of free time, in fact, that she uses watching TV, reading and conversing with her fellow inmates. And obviously, when it comes to her religion, which she feels deeply strong about, uh, she is still practicing. They say they have an LDS bishop that comes by, stops and allows uh, worship to happen weekly with these uh, prisoners. We're told that Lori participates in that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.